Hello YouTube, this is Fusilier 352 with another book review. This goes out to all German reenactor friends. This book is titled Rations of the German Wehrmacht in World War II by Jim Poole. It's a hardback copy and it's available on Amazon for almost $70, just a little less than $70. If you're lucky enough like me, you'll have a uh, a relative that will buy it for you for your Christmas or birthday. Now I just found out that he wrote a second volume so we'll call this volume one. When I get volume two uh, I will also give that a review. But this is for the reenactors that want to improve their impressions uh, through rations. If you do a total immersion event you're going to want to understand what rations the Germans ate if you're not lucky enough to have a goulash cannon at the campsite. These are some of the rations the Germans carried and or were supplied through their uh, headquarters through the uh, through the cooking services or the goulash cannon when it wasn't available. These are both personal rations and the book is also goes into detail about dietary needs of the German soldier and it's divided up into several sections starting with some of the uh, basic food groups you have your cereals and breads, your dairy products fish fats, poultry products, meat, fruit and vegetables coffee, tea and other beverages then it goes into spices uh, and baking aids uh, sugars and candies, beverages then it has the emergency and special ration items uh, and it goes on with also uh, field manuals, supplies of the Wehrmacht. Uh, has one chapter dedicated strictly to the Shaka Cola story. And uh, it continues with utilization of foreign rations by the German armed forces as well. It's well illustrated uh, with authentic photographs and there's plenty of documentary also or commentary of actual US uh, intelligence after they've captured rations during the war uh, with their comments on what they find with the rations. So these comments are not based upon what we know today but is taken from actual military intelligence reports. They even the Germans had canned bread at one time during the war as well. So it has these photographs were authentic World War II photographs or post war photographs. Uh, that bread obviously there didn't last very long in a can, so it's a post war photograph. Shows how the cans were were stamped with certain codes so you knew what was inside. Most of the product produced by the Wehrmacht itself, or for the Wehrmacht, strictly didn't have labeling. Now it's not that they didn't also buy commercial goods on the open market, but if it was produced strictly for the Wehrmacht, they used a code rather than labeling. And of course, here's the fresh bread. Most armies prefer to feed their troops fresh food rather than preserved food. When, when that wasn't necessary, obviously you have to make s special considerations and have some type of non-perishable items that you can get to your soldiers. It's full of plenty of illustrations of authentic product, which also will aid the German reenactor in recreating some of these uh, rations for his impression. Here's a can of pretzels that I actually had a friend reproduce for me. And there's the famous name Knorr. Products from Knorr are still available. More cans with the uh, date codes on them and uh, product codes, what's inside. Dairy products canned and powdered milks so the book itself its color it's uh, full of 
plenty of illustrations with labeling, uh, sizing, uh, ounces, dietary needs of the soldiers. So it's a great addition for any reenactor to try and reproduce rations. meat products, pictures of soldiers enjoying their meal. It's full of plenty of photographs of soldiers with their food products, either enjoying them or receiving them. Here's a photograph of what it's like to eat in the field. section on candies and sweets for the soldier. Period correct bottles. There's one chapter devoted strictly to the Shaka Cola story. And what would reenacting be without a can of Shaka Cola with you? Also, there's a section devoted to the personal cookers of the German soldier. Here's the classic Esbit stove, Jewel 33 stove. Although the Jewel 33 is hard to come by, the Jewel 34 seems to be plentiful on eBay and other areas on the internet, and it's almost exactly like the Jewel 33. So any reenactor would be happy to have one of those. Some of the utensils used by German soldiers, either enlisted men or officers, the classic butter dish, the bunker stove. So the book is full of all kinds of information, not just about foods, but the cooking of foods, and the storage and transportation. So I highly recommend this book if you're a German reenactor. It certainly is. Uh, helpful for your impression to try and set up a, a proper camp impression if you're doing a public event or if you're just doing a, a very serious full immersion event. If you like this video, click like below and leave comments and look for volume two in the near future. Thank you.